with the way there, man. Shit on this little crackhead motherfucker. I'll be out there doing my thing, man. Enjoying the summer, getting paid for this pussy. You know what young people do. This cocksucker on the radio every fucking day mentioning my name, man. I could just look on a fucking live video game before he get back to me. Low life piece of shit. <laughs> a lot of these cocksuckers didn't even enjoy the summer. Because they out here running their fucking mouth. Well, I guess that's what old people do. They sit on the radio and talk shit in the summer because they ain't going out there enjoying. They can't. They catch a stroke if they was to be under that sun. They know it. That's why they don't be out there like that because they'll catch a stroke. Especially crackhead. Especially an old crackhead. Because, let's see, you ain't no young motherfucker, man. You got gray hair. Old and beat up, got no teeth, fucked up in the game. Talk about you a king out here, you a piece of shit. I always shit on your fucking little crackhead snitch ass. Yeah, that's right. Well, we don't know anybody that Richie smokes crack with or can prove that Richie smoked crack or ever smoked crack other than what he told him that he did in 1996. And we certainly don't know anybody, uh, Richie snitched on out here and got arrested, knocked, or taken down. Wow. Right next to the methadone clinic. He talking about junkies out here. He lived right next to the methadone clinic. And only junkies would know where methadone clinics are. I live at the corner of 46 and Clarkson. I'm surrounded by seven hospital buildings. I don't know what's in them. I know where the emergency rooms are, though. some time to kill right now, Friday, but we definitely out at night, got some time to kill, what Richie do, huh, you gonna be out here copping the mail, the radio is your life, that's the only thing you got, is a fucking radio, and we can lock up all fucking, um, a power talk. Get in a room. Ain't none of that fucking carrier shit. None of that. But you too stupid to handle fucking our power. You too stupid to operate power talk. I think it's more about more of a man not talking about what I'm going to do at the moment of truth, but getting to the moment of truth, and you're just looking to electronically fight. I'm looking to settle your beef and your scared shit. You're a snitch. Richie, let me tell you something, man. You're not in my league. I would kill you. You understand? A devastating combo, I would, I would fucking end you. You cannot, you can't, your, your arm's too short to box with God. All right? You think I ain't watch you ass? You think I ain't seen you, man? I've seen you plenty of times. Your arm's too short to box with God. You could bear, you, know, you look like you're about to die. You look like, you, you look like death. You dead serious, you look like you're gonna die. I knock you the fuck out, right? Check this out. I knock you the fuck out, you hit your head, a body. A motherfucker caught a body and shit. But you get slapped. Oh, don't get it twisted. You get slapped. But it's just wham and how. Because you're a rat piece of shit. That's all. It's just wham and how. Perfect timing. That's all that is. Don't worry about that, you cocksucker motherfucker. Don't worry about the slap and the laugh when you get clowned and shit. Or whatever else happens. Don't worry about that shit. But see, you waiting for that because you're a snitch. You're a rat ass motherfucker. Because if you get stomped the fuck out, you get murdered. You couldn't tell Richard, you cannot handle an ass whooping. You cannot handle a beatdown, man. All right? 
I can't believe he just admitted what he admitted. Watch this. You're not in physical shape to handle that. I know that. Alright? And you know that. You cop sucking motherfucker. You ain't fooling nobody out here. You definitely you're not fooling me. You can try you can play all the video games and try to pretend like whoever you think you are and shit. You a snitch. You a rat fucking piece of shit. Cupcake. The only thing we know for sure out here, and I can't believe you admitted that to the public, dog. You trying to say you squatted on me, checked me out, and you didn't bring your beef? You are one scared pussy. Don't let my size fool you, man. You know, there's bigger and better than you sitting out here right now saying, I've seen what Richie does. I've seen monsters, mountain of men, go for that man that's laying in a box right now. Cupcake, you're one scared little puppy junkie trying to convince the public of what will be in your own brain as a fact opposed to the matter of what will happen at the moment of truth. Now you know what? I'm going to Utica and Clarkson. I'll catch your manhood whenever your manhood decides to roll up and deliver that smack. But I want you to remember this. In no way, shape, or form will I have time to call anybody nor you. And in no way, shape, or form, at the moment of that smack attempting to get delivered, that's the beginning of your end. I'll see my fans later. I'm clear. Now, check this out. You heard what he said, Ralph. You heard he talk about other men being big. We're not talking about other. We talk about you, cocksucker. All right? And let him know, that's to point out to the fact that he's talking about what I'm going to do when he does what he's going to do. We don't know what's going to happen. So bring it to that point already. The king is clear. You know where I'll be, guys. Anybody who wants me, I'm gone. Somebody's stupid, right? Now, when you was on 194 Utica, oh, that was a perfect, perfect place right there. But your ass was in the house. Your ass was hiding in the house like a bitch. Alright? And you know what we talk about when we was over there. You didn't come outside. Spare me that bullshit. You trying to convince somebody. You little snitch ass crackhead motherfucker. Then you hear this cocksucker? I gotta go guys. Catch y'all later. Every talking about big motherfuckers and shit. We not talking about people around you. We talk about you. Don't let size fool you. Who gives a fuck about no murdering motherfuckers? Your size. And you ain't one of them. You a snitch ass motherfucking rat piece of shit. I got your jacket. I know who the fuck you are, what you did. You you got more you got you got more power over a female than a man. We know that already. We we know that you're violent towards women. Let's not forget I got big power over men, uh, women trapped in men's bodies. Like this bitchy moaning, scared little punk pussy. Guys, Utica and Clarkson, adios. You're trying to convince, man. He thinks somebody's stupid. Like we're gonna run out in the fucking crowd to have witnesses and shit so people can point. See, we know you gonna holler. We know that because you do it, yo. You do this shit on the radio. You get you get people involved on the radio. So imagine what you're gonna do in real life. You're gonna scream like a bitch, like somebody probably robbing you or raping you and shit, so people can jump in. Nah, I don't work like that, man. Perfect timing, man. I saw the patience and perfect timing, motherfucker. That's all that is. And we not gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it on the radio. Whatever I do, we ain't gonna talk about it on radio, man. You a rat piece of shit. Think I know you a fucking snitch? The fuck out of here. You think we stupid, man? Like, we gonna run out in front of a whole bunch of people. Dumbass motherfucker, that's what he want. That's what he want, that's what he do. I know I'll, I'll peep this whole card, man. This nigga's a fucking coward. Beating off women and shit, crackhead motherfucker. Calling cops on people, listening to the fucking scanner. Richie done went from calling cops, listening to the scanner, to trying to provoke somebody and playing fucking recorders on YouTube so he could try to fucking get somebody locked up. Man, we ain't stupid. The fuck? You think we stupid, man? You better talk to your crackhead people around your fucking McDonald's or something. Snitch-ass rap motherfucker. Yeah, take your ass on the air. See, what, what, yo, what, what, what you gonna do right now, huh? He gonna go on the air. He gonna go to McDonald's and be like, yo, they trying to kill me. Yeah, he just threatened me again. 
So if y'all y'all see some big motherfuckers come around here, if you see this big black bill come around, watch my back, call the cops. Come on, you think you think we don't know you do that shit, crackhead? You probably don't. <laughs> You probably done alert, alerted people in McDonald's to call the cops if somebody whipping your ass. Okay. And plus, that's a high impact area. There's cops on every fucking block. If not, there's cops on every other block. Think we stupid, man? What you know that shit? That's why he be out here running his fucking mouth. He's so scared. That's all he's trying to cover up. Scared disguise. Faggot ass rat piece of shit. <laughs> Can we all just get along? Say, man, I'm on K2, weed, dope, coke, let's keep it real. I think that's what he said in that video. Not sure. Think I'll peep your shit out, man. You a fucking little scumbag. Watch Richie enter the airwave and take over your world. Intimidate you because you couldn't match him, fear him, or punk him behind a mic. I think Richie influenced and took over all your worlds on and off the mic. Hey, I'm just going by what the video gates can show and prove. Well, you pay for real clothes. 
like we do. You don't go to a fucking payless store. You don't buy no real product. You don't buy no real shit. You buy fucking payless fucking products and shit, man. Fucking bootleg Nikes and fucking Nike boots and shit. Bootleg shit. Eight ball, eight ball. It just ain't caught at the right time, that's all. It just ain't the right time. I'm not stupid. It just ain't the right time. Well, come on, bring your <laughs> ass and come get me already. You know when you be like, nah, not right now. Unica and Clarkson, baby. You know when the right, you, yo, y'all know when it's the right time, man. The catch is niggas. Y'all know it, yeah. Everybody know, every real nigga know that. When it's the perfect time, like, okay. And you get that good gut feeling, like, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? But when you see, oh, look at this rap, motherfuckers. Got time to begin in the year end, son. Look at him. He over there by the fucking paddy wagon. <laughs> talking to the cops and shit. You think we ain't seen him talking to police? Hi, huh, Richie. Talking to the fucking power wagon. Yeah. You didn't know that, right? Uh, why hold on. Let me out your head. You always inside a cop car. Hi, huh, Richie. You think we didn't see that? Why your head always inside of a fucking cop car? And you ain't no cop. You ain't no fucking cop. Why your head is always in a fucking cop car? Because what you be telling, because you be talking to the fucking cops. That's a no, that's a big fucking sign I see right there. That tell me you the neighborhood snitch. Looking at Richie's head inside of a cop car, talking to the fucking police. Yeah, he ain't tell y'all that, right? He talk all that shit out here. Cause he tell everybody where he at, right? He talk all that shit out here, right? But he don't tell y'all how much friends, how friendly he is with the neighborhood cops, the high impact cops. Why you think they let him in front of fucking the check cash and McDonald's and shit? Acting like you fucking guarding burgers and shit. This nigga's a fucking snitch. Fucking bad boy. Yo, Richie, what's your head doing inside the cop car? I want him to explain that. What business you got with your head inside of the cop car? What business you got? Because you ain't no cop. Spare me that bullshit. Spare me that. You ain't no fucking cop. Dude, I was getting donations. Yeah, he quiet now. I know the deal, motherfucker. You can play that bullshit, but I know the deal. Dude, I was getting donations. Hey. Do like hamburgers? Yo, Richie, tell everybody what your head doing inside a cop car. Hey, how you feel, Terry? I'm all, I never felt better in my life. How the 
Hope you had a It was a really nice day. Hopefully you were on the shady side of things, you know? You see, he got his head all up in the cop car, talking to the police. I was eight hours, half hour overtime. That's about it. I bet you was nice, very nice. Yeah, well, we just got the word today that, yeah, overtime is canceled for tomorrow. So, all right, I got no hours because I took uh, Wednesday and Thursday. You know, there was big uh, OT then, but I don't care. You know, my, my, my mental state, my physical state is more important than my wallet state, you know, because money comes and money goes. Y'all will see me now? Can you see me now? Oh yeah, big 10-4. What a blessing, you know? To know if you don't got a, a penny in your pocket at the present time, you know either way, A, you can go to the bank, A, you can go to your little piggy bank, you can go under the mattress, or you can wait till the next payday, either way, you know? Yes, yes, I heard it's pretty good. I never had it. Really good. It's triple filtered. Uh, it's uh, nice, man. I, uh, I got a bottle here. It's in four. I would change the bottle. Yeah, that'll be one of the funds. Well, I'll pull it up. Should be a couple hundred dollars in there. I'll get something else you now. Yeah, but I was thinking half full. Right away, I'm thinking. Wow, when did you hit that bottle that it was half full? From DJ from Grove Street, landed the Hainers, gang bangers and cold heat. And Los Santos neighbors get no sleep, even with the... Oh yeah, Roger D, but I got more happy that it was half full of what was in the bottle. This <laughs> is <laughs> the Yeah, that's a nice bottle. I probably still have one of those, one of those bottles laying around somewhere. Wow, 10-4. Yeah, you know what was funny today at work? I took two days off during the middle of the week, right? I come in today, everybody's like, oh, hey, you know, and P.S. The other senior mechanics, they were off two weeks, one guy was off a month, nobody gave a rat's ass. And then when they came back, they had their hands in their pocket. Oh, I'm a helper. I gotta get back into swing of work, you know? All right, I had two days off, but it was no uh, hands in my pocket. Not that I expect that, nor do I want it either, but, you know, it was just funny how two days I'm sorely missed, but guys could be out for a month and nobody gives a rat's ass. Why does it have to be a rat? I don't know. Do you want to see a GTA 5? Liberty. Don't enjoy a fight city. Don't want to see you just have to wait until... I don't care if the main character is a drug dealer. Yeah, that was probably one of my longest key-ups ever. I'm going to shoot my AJ. I'm going to shoot my AJ. All right, guys. It's time for me to get out of here. CK187, Cupcake187, as you can see, he had no fight, no beef, just convincing. Jeez, you know, I hope somebody got a snapshot of my head being in a cop car while I'm spending without pay. Yeah, right. Guys, I got to go, Utica and Clarkson. He turned into a DJ, we clear.